whatever day it is that you're watching. This is Richard Rosen, Winnipeg's friendliest undertaker and your resource in Manitoba for all things green burial and more. We gather today to learn and share. I believe it's essential to share knowledge. If you've watched our interviews over the past few years, you'll know that we've covered a wide range of topics. They range from successfully aging in place to understanding the importance of managing and protecting your digital assets, funeral related topics, specifically green burials. Green burials are only part of what we do to minimize our environmental footprint. And one of the deliberate choices we make in our lives to tread more gently. Daily, we recycle, we compost, we buy local, we make our homes more energy efficient and so, so much more. These interviews, are with people involved in various areas of the environmental world that you may or may not be aware of. We hope that you find them inspiring and interesting enough for you to like and subscribe to this page and share it with others. With all that said, let's get on with the interview. So with us today is Denise Turanli, the Business Development Officer of Efficiency Manitoba. Efficiency Manitoba is a new organization to help Manitobans uh, become a lot more green with a number of resources, uh, programs, and materials that can help uh, reduce all of our carbon footprint. Denise, welcome. I'm so pleased that you could join us. Oh, thanks so much for having me, Richard. I'm really excited to share more about who we are. Uh, you've got a captive audience. So maybe you could tell us a little bit more about Efficiency Manitoba. Yeah, absolutely. So Efficiency Manitoba is a new organization that started in April of 2020. And we're a one-stop shop to help Manitobans save energy, money, and of course, the environment. So, you know, many people are familiar with what was PowerSmart. And Manitoba Hydro used to manage the energy efficiency under PowerSmart. And now uh, Efficiency Manitoba has taken over from that. So we are a separate crown corporation that is completely dedicated to energy efficiency. And we do this through a number of ways. So we've got a few, you know, we've got quite a few incentive programs, rebate programs that are designed to help homeowners as well as business owners save energy. And more than that, we've got just a ton of information and resources on our website for anyone who's looking to make an energy efficient upgrade. Perhaps give us a bit of a sense of why people should be participating or, or, or at least promoting energy efficiency. Yeah, I mean, there's so many benefits to becoming more energy efficient. I mean, we often think of the obvious one, which is uh, bill savings, right? Doing upgrades to help uh, reduce your energy consumption uh, in your home or your business. Um, but there are so many other benefits that you may not think about um, as often. And one, one big one that I like to talk about is comfort. So overall comfort, you know, when we're thinking about, you know, adding insulation, tightening up say the building envelope of a building, we call it the envelope of a building, it really can help make a more comfortable building. Um, and you take, you know, adding insulation or, or say upgrading the windows as an example, uh, you know, upgrading your windows to something more energy efficient, triple pane, um, you know, energy star rated can really help with being able to sit in close proximity to the window in our coldest, you know, winter nights, being able to actually sit in comfort by a large window, it can really improve. Also, you know, uh, taking or preventing the noise from coming into your home, you know, the traffic noise, when you redo windows, you do notice a difference with the amount of noise pollution coming in. So comfort is a really big one. Uh, safety can also be a, a reason, um, you know, when you're switching out lights to LED, particularly outdoor lights, you know, if you're looking at um, getting brighter LED lights put in, whether it's your home or at your business, all of a sudden, you know, security cameras can pick up activity a little bit easier, um, you know, uh, people can feel a little bit more safe walking into a business in the night or walking into, you know, their apartment block or home. So safety is a big one. And then another one is maintenance, you know, ha not having to constantly be replacing lights as they burn uh, is a huge savings and maybe not so much for the average business or the average homeowner rather, you know, changing a light takes five, 10 minutes. But when you multiply that out and think about larger businesses or schools where there's, you know, a custodian or a maintenance manager constantly replacing lamps and ballasts, 
it really does add up. Um, it can be a full-time job. And these LEDs are designed to last, you know, a substantial amount of time, like 25,000, 50,000, even 100,000 hours. So we're talking like these lights can last LEDs, you know, between 10 and 20 years. So huge savings there. And then lastly, of course, the environment. You know, we all want to do our part to help the environment, to leave it a little bit better for that next generation, um, or at least to not leave it in a worse state. And so changing, you know, being a part of energy efficiency programs and doing your part to make changes is really important. It helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions, uh, helps, you know, reduce water consumption and promote recycling and reduce waste. So all really great things for the environment as well. I'm just wondering about uh, some of the, the aspects of um, and the important part about efficiency Manitoba. I'm just wondering about, um, you know, how, how you, you help with performing upgrades and mm -hmm. uh, or how programs for being able to do upgrades, how do they work? Yeah, so we design the programs and the offers that we offer homeowners and business owners. And then we work with hundreds of companies, you know, private sector companies, whether it's contractors, suppliers, distributors, and they're the ones that help actually do the work. So, um, so it's a kind of a team effort. Um, and in most cases, when you're participating in our programs, you can actually pick who you'd like to do the work, um, where you'd like to buy the products. You know, you've got that flexibility for the most part. Now, this supplier network that we have, it's, you can see on our website, all of the suppliers that are registered with us. And these are companies that know our programs. You know, they, they know how you can be eligible. They know what you're gonna need to install for it to be eligible for an incentive. So they're, they're really, um, you know, the, the best, you know, you wanna go with somebody who knows the programs and is comfortable with um, delivering them. And so our offers have had a really great kind of uh, ripple effect in, in the province because it's really helped keep uh, contractors busy and, um, you know, it, it's done great things for the, the provincial economy and especially coming out of COVID, you know, it's, it's great to really be a part of that recovery. It's nice to hear that there's, there's more to it, with, especially with economic spinoffs and keeping industry uh, busy. And uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's really a, an important aspect. And especially having to make sure that the, the suppliers and installers are, are, um, are comfortable and, and capable and hmm. no, noble program yeah that that makes good sense um so you're we're on the we're, we're on the program topic here so maybe go tell us a little bit about some of the programs that efficiency manitoba offers you mentioned um, well insulation is one uh do you want to touch on that and maybe some of the other ones insulation is always that's an easy one right that usually yeah. for, for folks yeah you know yeah it's an easy one, but often overlooked because you tend to think about, you know, replacing things that are visible, right? So lights, that's obvious, um, you know, windows, replacing windows. I mean, it can be costly, but it's, you see them, you see the deterioration sometimes. Um, appliances, you know, going to Energy Star appliances, new fridge, that's kind of low hanging fruit, but insulation can get overlooked but yet it's one of the most important things you can do in your home to kind of to save energy right so we've got uh what we call a home insulation rebate and you can work with any contractor of your choice uh they're going to help you fill out the application form you know figure out how much insulation you need and uh, get that submitted to us and if you're more of the type that you know hey i can do this myself i'm pretty handy then great, you go to a retailer, they're gonna help you um, not only with getting the materials, the insulation materials, but also again, getting that application submitted to us. And it's so important that we do get that application before anything's done. So a lot of our programs work this way, we require pre-approval. So that means, you know, you get an application filled out, we understand the scope of the project, and oftentimes you, you're gonna know exactly what you're gonna get for doing your upgrade ahead of time. And then you can go about your business and, and do the work um, and then submit us submit to us at the end of the project. So um, yeah, really important that you do get that pre-approval, but it's super easy to participate. Yeah, I, I've seen in two houses that I've had where I've re-insulated and I 
it, before I, I had a, I put a thermometer, just a simple thermometer in the rooms, just to to gauge oh. what was what what the temperature was, so I could use that as a baseline. And then once I insulated the house or that that area, I found at least a two or three degree difference immediately that, in in the great. room. So yeah. Uh, you know, because I thought, okay, I'm, I'm doing this, but I, I'd like to see what that proof is. And yeah. of course, it meant that I could dial back the thermostat. And exactly. you know, yeah. that was that was super critical. And I thought, well, this is this is a no brainer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Um, so tell me um, about incentive, you know, what's the incentive for somebody to, to improve the insulation envelope in their house? Yeah, I mean, it really depends on, like you said, that baseline. So where you're starting from, right? So um, we're going to tell you what you need to get that insulation up to. And that that's just going to uh, depend on what area we're talking about in your home. So whether it's, uh, you know, the wall insulation or the roof or, you know, in the attic. And all of these areas are measured with what we call an R value. So an R value is really the way of measuring how well that insulation product is resisting the heat transfer. So the higher that R value is, the more insulated your space is, the higher the better. And all of the materials that you're gonna to use to insulate have different R values. So it just it becomes kind of a formula of, okay, well, how do I wanna insulate? You know, Whether you're talking about wood chips or glass fiber, rigid board, all these different materials have different levels of insulation. So you're gonna, um, you know, let's say you're redoing your attic and you're sitting at an R28. And to participate in the program, you need to get that up to R50. So that difference, you know, we, we put that through kind of a formula and we come up with a number that you're gonna get for getting to that R50. And the good news is in most cases, in a lot of cases, it ends up covering all of the materials cost. So all of that insulation cost, uh, for the materials is, is paid for by the incentive and then you just have to worry about the labor so really great program and especially if you're in a home that is built before 1999 definitely worth looking at because chances are you'll have some opportunities if you're redoing your windows or your doors we have a program for that it's our windows and doors program um, now windows are rated with a u value so unlike the R value, where the higher, the better, U values work the opposite way, the lower, the better. And uh, it serves as a great way to compare, you know, if you're looking at multiple quotes from different companies and you want to be able to compare for energy efficiency, that's what you're going to use is that U value. And if you're picking something that's going to be eligible for our program, which means energy star rated and triple pane, um, then you're going to get a rebate on top of uh, the energy savings that you're getting. So $50 a window is, is what we're um, paying out on that. And uh, it's a great program and a relatively new one. Um, one that's been around a little bit longer is our appliance recycling program. So really great program because we, we kind of help you with the headache of getting rid of your appliances. So if, you're, if you've got a working fridge or freezer, and that part's key, it does have to be working, um, and you're no longer using it, we have, uh, we've worked with a third-party company that comes to your home, takes it out of your way, um, recycles it, and then you get 30 bucks on top of it. So you know, easy program to participate in. And we also help if you've got um, other appliances that are working like, um, you know, dehumidifiers or window air conditioner units or bar fridges. We won't pay for those ones, but we will take them out of your home and, and you know that they're being recycled in an environmentally friendly way. So that's a good one. And then we've got a number of other ones. I mean, um, if you're building a home, you want it to be, you know, energy efficient and maybe even more energy efficient than what's required. Uh, our new homes program is a great one to look at. Um, if you've got a pool, we've got a pool pump program. So all sorts of uh, great programs. And of course you can read about them all on our website. Yeah, I was waiting for you to say that because I was, yeah, good. And at the at the end of this, uh, 
folks will be able to uh, they'll I'll have all the contact information to awesome. Efficiency awesome. Manitoba so mm -hmm. links to the web page and, and all that so that's good uh, so we've talked about the residential side and um, those of us that uh, own businesses can you tell us a little bit about some of the programs that uh, you offer for businesses yeah so they follow kind of the same thinking so building envelope program looks at increasing insulation replacing windows helping incentivize to do that um, so that's a good one. Um, lighting program probably is still our more popular or most popular program. It's been around the longest. It's, of course, it's changed a lot over the, over the last you know, 20, 30 years. But um, now all the talk is, of course, about LED. So LEDs have so many benefits. I know we touched on a bunch of them already. Safety, maintenance, you know, a lot of great things. But if, one area that you don't really think about and it makes a difference with LEDs is something we refer to as the color rendering index. So all lights are measured uh, with this index. So it's a zero to 100 point scale. And basically it, it measures how colors look under light source when compared to the sunlight. So their true color depiction. So, you know, when you're thinking about older technologies like say fluorescence, those tend to be, you know, 60s, 70s uh, out of 100 for CRI. LEDs are in the 90s. So they're nearing 100. And you think, well, okay, well, what does that really matter? You know, the other lights still work. You can still see things. Well, it's a difference of, you know, in your closet seeing black or gray or navy tie, right? Um, but for business owner, it's the difference of in the, you know, produce section, having your fruits and vegetables pop like really having that color um, come through, having the meat department look, you know, the meats all look better with LEDs. Uh, in the hair salons, it's having the, that color, you know, really appear how it's going to appear on that person in the sunlight. And then, I mean, on the production line, you know, you, I can go through each industry, but it's just so important that you, that the color um, is a true color uh, in certain industries, especially. So yeah, lots of benefits to LED. And then of course, the next step and what we're seeing a lot of now is control systems. So controls, um, whether it's a system or whether it's um, a device uh, are designed to dim lighting, turn off lighting when not in use, you know, even fading down lighting until there's motion, you know, in apartment hallways, for example, um, can make such a huge difference um, with energy savings. So we're kind of seeing more and more of that, um, having these sensors either on the fixture or separate from the fixture um, to really help go that extra mile and, um, and control the lights. So yeah, we incent, I should say, we have incentives for all these things uh, when you're switching to LED or if you're considering to add, you know, occupancy sensors or that sort of thing, we've got incentives for that too. So lots of great stuff. And we're creatures yeah. of habit. So, you know, if you have the same schedule every day, uh, might as well take advantage of that and program, mm -hmm. you know, your lights, your heat to kind of follow that routine. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we're also creatures of habit sometimes in, in a not so good way. I know I've got two little ones and they don't often turn off lights. So it, it's nice to kind of um, enforce some lights in buildings to turn off when they're not being used, right? So that you yeah. can actually guarantee that they're off. You know, you, you mentioned it with Efficiency Manitoba having having residential incentives and programs. I obviously then there's there's incentive and programs for the business community as well. Yeah. So the business, I mean, we spoke about a few of them, but one I didn't mention and I should have is our small business program. So we've got a program that is specifically designed for small businesses. And we define that as businesses under 15,000 square feet. So still pretty good size. Um, but basically we worked with, we, we work with a service provider called EcoFit to help us deliver this program to small business owners and it makes it super easy for them. So we send EcoFit in, you know, EcoFit comes in once they agree and they do a walkthrough, they do kind of an audit on their lighting and insulation and they point out opportunities to save energy. So if they went ahead and redid their lighting using this program, 70% of the total project cost is covered which is incredible, like 70% of the materials, the labor, permit, taxes, everything is covered by Efficiency Manitoba. So it makes it super easy because we know these business owners have lots on the go. They're, you know, 
juggling a lot of things, especially coming out of the last couple of years. It's been a tough go for any business owner. So it, it's really designed to be kind of a turnkey program where they don't really have to think too much. They can just get EcoFit in and it's kind of handled from there. So it's, it's one of my probably favorite programs, but I also work on the business side. So I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that, that's fair, but it's, and it's, it's really about making things better for everybody. We've talked about some of the big things, you know, and, and some of the, the, you know, insulation, as you said, is one of those that sort of is hidden in the walls. You don't really see that very often. But uh, have you got any insights on on some little things that, that folks could do that just can make uh, make small differences that add up? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there you don't need to you don't need to do huge installations to, to be able to save energy. I mean, um, even fixing, you know, in your uh, building or home, small gaps, small, you know, cracks. Um, around, if you go around the perimeter of your home, say with a caulking gun, and look for any kind of uh, gaps, whether it's, you know, in the window frame area, door frames, or in the stucco, and just do your best to kind of seal each of those gaps, it does make a huge difference. You know, you don't think it does, but it all adds up. You know, if you added up every little hole, and pictured it together, well, you would never have like a two foot wide hole, you know, or one foot. So it does make a difference, um, just even though they're not at all together. Um, and, you know, professionals, you can hire a professional um, and they've got, you know, um, expert techniques and, and equipment to do these types of checks. But you can also be handy and, and maybe um, take a piece of say tissue paper or Kleenex, tissue paper is probably better because it's lighter, attach it to a hanger and hold that over your door frames. So your window frames, door frames, and see if that tissue paper is moving. And it's incredible. I mean, I did this, I didn't even use the tissue paper, but I did this in my own home at Christmas time. We had a wreath hanging on our front door and it was using one of those um, door hangers, right? So it's going over the door frame. And I just one day thought to myself, I'm gonna hold my hand up there. And so I did. Well. I, my hand was shot with cold air coming in from outside as if it was like a hairdryer of cold coming into the home. I couldn't believe that this had been there for, you know, already a month. And so quickly, you know, took that down. It was crimping the, um, the weather stripping and got like a command strip type of stick hook on the other side uh, just to make it that difference. But yeah, it doesn't have to be fancy, but really good to kind of check the whole perimeter of your home. So that's big. Lighting, we talked about lighting, change your lights to LED. I mean, it's not a new thing anymore, but if you still have lots of lights that you have to change to LED, best to start with the lights that are used more often. And that's, you know, in your common areas, kitchen, bathrooms, that type of thing. And it can be a little bit daunting, you know, when you're not familiar with all of the varieties of LED and you go to the store and you're, you know, all these numbers on different packaging, it can be a little overwhelming. And so, Couple of things to keep in mind, lumens, the higher the lumen count, the brighter that light is, even if the wattage is very low. And then there's color temperatures. So what color is the light? Is it more on the bright white side, 5,000 Kelvin measured with a K? Or is it 2,700 and you know more of that ambient kind of fireside light, right? And, and it comes down to lots of time personal preference, but it also can come down to um, what you're doing in that room. So if you're doing kind of more something where you require task lighting or, you know, applying makeup in the bathroom, you might want that bright white. Um, but if you want to relax, that yellow or light might, might feel a little bit nicer. So it's something to consider there. Outdoor lighting, we talked about how important to change out to LED. Also LEDs like the cold, like where they don't mind the cold. So they do well outside. And then probably the biggest one is looking at your thermostat. So you mentioned, you know, switching to a smart thermostat and being able to program it and having that setback feature. And for those that aren't aware or don't, you know, understand the setback. So really, you know, we talked about being creatures of habit. And let's say you, you go to bed, you know, 10 p.m., you're up at six in the winter months, in, during the day, you may like having your home at set at 21 degrees, but between the night hours, you can bring it back a couple degrees um, and maybe 18, 19, it, it, you change your thermostat and you program that in. So it's every night. And what you're gonna find is even though it's a couple of degrees, it can actually save about 4% on your energy bill. So, it, you know, quite substantial. 
because of course heating is one of the big um, costs you know, for your home. So um, using those setback features and smart thermostats have so many great other features, um, including like geofencing. Have you heard of geofencing? Yeah. So, you know, yeah. setting a perimeter. Yeah. Around your house. So let's say it's like the perimeter of Winnipeg. And, you know, if you go to the lake every weekend in the summer, as soon as you're driving back to the city and you hit that perimeter that your house is, oh, they're almost home. Let's start cooling the house a little bit more. And then yeah. it's more comfortable for when you get home. And of course, all of these things are at your fingertips on your phone. So yeah. you're notified if things aren't working as well. The, the technology is just, it's, it's become a lot more convenient um, and a lot more controllable that, that we're able to do that. So yeah, that's, uh, those are good, those are good, good uh, pieces of advice. Um, mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I know that, um, you know, at, as I said at the end, for people who are interested to participate, um, they'll be able to go to the website. I was looking through it uh, yesterday and I was just amazed at the resources and materials that are there, um, how the programs work, um, the forms that are there ready for applications and, and it's, it's really good. So, um, you know, for, for, for those, you know, that you know, there's a fair number of people that are in the business community that follow our page, uh, really encourage you if you're in Manitoba uh, to make sure, and if you're not in Manitoba, you have to set up uh, an office in Manitoba and there's, there's, there's in programs for that too. So, uh, <laughs> just a, just a plug to come to move to win to Manitoba, but, uh, yeah, but there exactly. isn't. Yeah. So there, there's a lot of programs. There's a lot of good resources and information. Um, I've gotten to know, as I mentioned earlier, some of the folks at efficiency Manitoba, they're really, really excited and inspired by just being able to help all of us become a lot more efficient and shrinking our footprint to as small as we possibly can. So um, with that, Denise, thank you. I really appreciate the time that you've invested with us here today and to sharing what Efficiency Manitoba is all about. Thank you so much for having us. You know, we're, we're still a new company, so we're so happy to get our name out there and really appreciate you uh, taking the time to meet with me. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, uh, all the best. Thank I'm grateful you. to you for the time that you've invested with us today and hope you've taken away some valuable information. And if you have, please smash that like button, subscribe, and share this page with others. This is Richard Rosen, Winnipeg's friendliest undertaker, wishing you a great day and hope to see you again soon. That's it. Oh, awesome.